Hello, I am John Lira, and in this short demo, I want to show you how you can use Power Center to load the data into the landing tables of Informatica's MDM solution. The, requir the requirements are that you have MDM fully operational and also Power Center. And I'm going to go into the hub, and I've already created my landing tables. The one that I will demo is the LDG sales customer. I have defined it, I have its columns, and the data for this LDG sales customer is coming from a source of type Oracle, ZZ Invoice. If I go to Oracle, you'll see that there is no data in this table. If I looked at the LDG sales customer, there are no data. And the source is coming from ZZ Invoice, it's an invoicing system, which will get data and drop it in here. So. Those of you that know the methodology of, of the MDM know that we first create landing phase, then a staging, and then a load phase, and etc. so that we can get data to create the golden records. So right now I'm only focusing on the landing, how to use Power Center to land the data rather than doing it through the MDM hub. So with that in mind, I'm going to go to Power Center. And the first thing you've got to do before you create a mapping is define the sources and the targets. Well, what is my source for this mapping? There's a source of type Oracle called ZZ Invoice. It, it, it sells data. You can see that it has customer ID, customer name, bill to and ship to address. What is the target? Ah, the target, the target for this is the landing sales t uh, customer. So it is CLDG sales customer the same table that I was showing you in the hub and in the Oracle table. So notice it has a last update, a customer name, etc. So my two, my source definition and my target definition are created and now I quickly go into a mapping. I have already created a mapping, let me arrange all. Here is the source that I'm going to read and here's a source qualifier for it. Very, very typical mapping and here's the target the LDG, the C underscore LDG sales customer table. But I included the expression transformation just to show you that you could do some pre-processing before you land the data. In essence, I have all my ports coming in from my data. And let me just scroll back uh, backwards. So this is my data coming in. Those are the input ports. Notice that I did not link all the other ports, just the customer I didn't link all the ports because all I want right now is just the landing data. And so actually let me just finish this and finish. I'm going to auto link by name and just drag and drop. There goes the rest of my ports. Okay. That was a little bit of oversight on my part. So my ports are done. Everything's connected. And notice that I'm not bringing invoice date, invoice number for the discussion in the methodology of is all transactional data, master data, etc. So I decided this is what I want to master and there goes my target which is my landing table and all I've done, I, I've done a little bit of pre-processing. I have R trim and left trim, the customer name, etc. Let me just go inside so I can show you. Very, very simple processing. So left trim and right trim, that's all I'm doing and then the sys date is the system date. Assuming this is all I want to do, of course, I'm going to validate my mapping and it should be valid and I'm going to go ahead and save it. And as soon as it saves, I'm going to go to the workflow. And because I have a workflow already created and I have run this earlier, but I just changed the design, I have to refresh my mapping and now save it. Now it's in sync with my design that I changed. And let's go inside the the uh, properties of this. Notice that it's running the uh, the mapping that I was just showing you. So in this session, that session is running that mapping and I have to set up where the source data is coming from and where it's going to be writing to and I'm using the MDM customer connector and how did I create that? Under connections I created one called MDM customer and I'll just edit it quickly you can see that it's going to the TRN underscore lab, same password, the info ORCL, etc. Quite, quite simple mapping, but in fact, it is a simple process. We're just landing data. And assuming this is all saved, I don't remember if I saved it. 
there it is saved then I quickly go ahead and start the workflow and as you know the monitor screen will come up and I had already run this earlier but I ran it again right now because I noticed that I was missing some ports and here it is succeeded 84 records in 80, 84 records out how do I validate this I would go to Oracle select the CLDG sales customer which is the landing table and click refresh and there goes my 84 records for this data set and let me just go back to the hub and I'll finish right there so I just landed data into one of these landing tables in similar fashion I could write mappings and workflows for the others this is just one way to land data into the landing table so I just want to let you know that there's another demo video that I have on how to stage the data from the landing table. How do you get the data from the landing and stage, and stage the data using Power Center? Thank you. I am John Lira and hope to see you again and please subscribe to my channel.